Good morning, I'm Mabel Jong, and you're watching the World Healthcare Congress Interview Zone. And I have with me now Dr. Craig Keyes, who is Global President, Health Information S Solutions, CEO of Allure Health. Dr. Keyes, good morning. Hi, Mabel. Well, tell me that uh, at Allure, you're doing a lot of work speaking with physicians and getting people to the table in this conversation about improving American healthcare. How's that going? It's a, it's a long slog, but it's going well. Uh, physicians, I, I know only too well, being one myself, really are in this to help people at the end of the day. And I think uh, they've, as a community, physicians have demonstrated a real commitment to participating in healthcare and, and taking a leadership role. Um, accountable care organizations wouldn't be coming around without them. Mm -hmm. They mm -hmm. are the accountable care. Mm -hmm. Bottom line, what we talk a lot about a physician-led health care system. How does that work and what does it really take? Well, first I would say um, we have to keep in mind there are a lot of parties at the table. A lot of people uh, have vested interests, not just financial interests, but health interests in how things shake out. People we call patients, the American public, doctors, all of the providers of health care, all of the other participants and business people, employers who have a stake in all of that. And, and so a physician-led uh, health care system is one, it seems to me, in which physicians really uh, are taking the, the clinical leadership role knowing the business ramifications of of what are done, what is done. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so uh, Allier really looks at this from the point of view of what are the things that physicians will need help with? What can we not ask of a, of a physician that would uh, otherwise be left undone? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's really where we are. Mm -hmm. And how do you get to your end goal? What, well, is, uh, what is Allier's process? Well. Uh, let me take a step back uh, and tell you about Allure's strategy. Allure's strategy is connected health. And by that I mean we take, uh, in the world of health, we try to first gather what's going on. And then we try to reconcile that with what should be happening, running it through analytics and engines about what matters most. Mm -hmm. And then finally, with those insights, when we come to the answer of what matters, encourage and empower and influence people to take action. Sometimes it's a physician, but a lot of times it's a patient. Let me, let me give an example. A physician may know well that someone needs to be on a medication. In fact, they may be getting, uh, first they get from the electronic medical record and the health information exchange and all of these tools, here's what has to happen. And they also recognize from analytics, here's what will happen if they don't get on this medicine. And a physician's role is to write that prescription and provide the guidance to help someone take that medicine. Right. But that pill isn't swallowed until the member, the patient, the participant, the person actually does it. Gets in there and yeah. does it. And so the strategy at Allure Health is really simple. It's it's personal. Mm -hmm. It's really helping empower individuals, finding their inner strength mm -hmm. to to modify whatever behavior that is, whether it's to stop smoking, to lose some weight, to take their medicine, to see their doctor, to know their numbers, all of those things we as doctors rely on our patients to do and need our patients to do. That's not work I as a doctor can get done. But if I can get some help to get someone to participate more fully in their care, then I can close that gap. So a leer is really helping physicians, not by saying, you need to do this and you need to do that. Sending someone a list of things to do is really not that much help. I can tell you as a doctor, and I used to get those lists, yes. roll my eyes and think, if they only knew this patient, they would understand why this list is so goofy. Okay. And so Lear recognizes that, makes it personal, and helps each individual tap into what they need, whether it's uh, whether they're not taking their medicine because the copay is too expensive, the drug is not on the formulary, 
A pharmacy isn't nearby. They're afraid of the side effects. They can't swallow big pills. All sorts of reasons mm -hmm. that are, are, it's possible to overcome, but only by understanding what's the barrier. Okay, now how do you get people to not have engagement fatigue? They, people, it's common sense, a lot of what you're talking about. So what is a Lear strategy in getting people to actually commit to mm -hmm. being engaged with this, both physicians and patients. Well, you're really onto this. I mean, you're right, <laughs> because uh, we're all swept up in whatever is shiny and new right now. Remember, two years ago, we were all talking about if we could just get electronic medical records and health information exchanges, the problem would be solved. We have we'd, we'd have it lit. <laughs> so we, yeah. we got all that. That was basically to answer the question, what? What's happening? What's the blood sugar? What does the neurologist say? What does the social worker want to do? Uh, what is the weight? What, uh, what else is going on? And getting all that information in one place. And we thought, oh, if we could just have that, we'd have this lit. So we did that. It didn't happen, as you know. Last year, it was, no, we can't just answer the question, what? We have to answer the question, so what? What does it matter? And so we invested in huge tools like big data and analytics engines and uh, segmentation and finding out exactly what these insights are. And so that answers the question, so what? Now we have them. We still don't have mm -hmm. healthcare solved. The heavy lift becomes with mm -hmm. the third question you have to answer, and that's now what? Uh -huh. So with all of those insights, to your point, how do you get someone to do something different? And that's where you have to resort to the science of behavior and really understand what is it that stands between someone and say, quitting smoking. People smoke for a variety of reasons, but until you understand not only why they smoke, but why they want to quit, mm -hmm. can you tap into that energy to help them find the strength and coach them along and help them quit. Mm -hmm. And whether it's that or helping them lose weight or helping them remember to and find the way to take their medicine, all those are really important behaviors for us to be able to turn around, and that's what we do at Allure Health. Okay. Finally, Dr. Keyes, you come to the table um, being encouraged by an, an ailing brother many years ago, um, and I re recall reading that you said that there is hope, new hope for physicians. That was a few years ago. Do you still believe that? I, I absolutely do. I absolutely believe that physicians are going to take a very strong, powerful role in influencing the health of the American people going forward. We have to. There was a time when it was all right to simply complain or lob grenades from the sidelines saying this isn't going to work. We have to own this system. We have to own it outright, be accountable not just for the care, but for the whole experience. And, and doctors are having more and more opportunities to get the tools they need to participate, to mm -hmm. sit at the table. I was lucky, I, I went to business school. I had a brother who smacked me upside the head and mm -hmm. said, stop complaining. I thought this was your system. Stop being a victim. Mm -hmm. Be a part of the solution. Not everybody gets so lucky to have a family member they love and care for, mm -hmm. just smack them up and say, you're gonna, you're gonna participate and you're gonna do something for the positive. Okay, well, Dr. Keyes, a pleasure to speak with you today. And with you. Thank you. And I'm Mabel Zhang, thanks for watching.